Hey guys, I'm Orthodon, and we are back for Black Clover episode 97. So last time we had Yami versus Charlotte. We've had a lot of our friends turn enemy, and uh, and they all have these elf spirits living inside them. I guess technically the characters themselves haven't become enemies. It's that these elf spirits have taken over their body. And we might have seen a glimpse last episode of Yami potentially getting to Charlotte a little bit. I'm not sure if it's going to actually work or not. But he was, like, ridiculing her, saying, like, how can you let this thing take over? And there was, like, a moment where Charlotte, like, stopped and went, <gasps> like, but then, like, just kept doing what she was doing. So, I don't know if that was him getting to her or, or what, but... But, yeah, a whole bunch of our people, the doctor, the right hand to the wizard king, got possessed, um... Uh, a whole bunch of others, right? And it was a really, like, impactful scene with Soul and everything crying because she couldn't, uh, she wasn't strong enough to help and she ended up taking the Wizard King's body away and and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing where we go from here because there's a lot of questions I have that I've talked about and, and stuff like that. So let's just get started, shall we? Alrighty, we're going to start here in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now. Uh, okay. Sorry about the, like, you're probably hearing the water heater in the background going. I apologize for that. And, uh, I usually don't have my waters up on that side, I guess it is. Um, on top of the mini fridge back there, but kind of, uh, <laughs> crazy week here with, uh, our, our boiler, well, some of the pipes in, like, our boiler room that has our water heater and, and all that stuff started getting pinhole leaks all over the place and had to be redone. And due to some of the leaks, uh, this room that I'm in right here is right next to the water, or the, the boiler room. And the water actually seeped under the wall and into this room and, uh, and soaked the floor a bit under the rug. So I've had, like, fans and everything, everything off the floor with fans running and everything. So hopefully prevent mold. If not, we're going to have to tear up the rugs. Should be fun. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Looks like we're in uh, recap mode anyway. <clears throat> yep. He did manage to incapacitate both. But yeah, that's why the water isn't on the ground anymore. <laughs> and it's in the camera shot. Because I can't have shit on the ground right now. Wait. Okay, I'm just not used to the beginning part of that song yet. I was like, did it change again? Overwhelming disadvantage. Well, that's not, that's a foreboding ass title. I'm not used to this new song yet. This is the same, right? I think it is. Yeah, okay. I was like, I'm sitting here second-guessing myself. I guess I just haven't seen this opening enough to, like... Like, some of the... And I try not to pay attention too much, so... Hmm. All right. Things are burning. Soul is putting it down. Oh. Buried it, huh? She has no idea. Dark Cloak Dimension Slash, yep, that's right. They were charging up their big attacks. 
damn, it shot right through it. That is crazy. Although part of it kept going. Hmm. Oh. Cut through armor. Damn. Hmm. <laughs> yep. Retreat, huh? Damn. Yeah, we haven't seen Yemi yet after that blast. I imagine he's okay, but... Yemi's fine. Yeah. <laughs> you bitch! <laughs> Yummy. Yes, save the citizens. <clears throat> All right, cool. Hmm. Does he know which direction to head in? Damn. So many of them. That's a hell of a voice. Oh, it's this fuck. God damn it. Uh oh. I have a feeling this guy's about to be cannon fodder. Who is this? Oh, wait. Is that the guy from, like, the one of the first episodes of the show? That attacked Asta and Yuno, like... Oh. Huh. All right, they're just going to talk each other to death, I guess. Oh. <laughs> yes, okay, so it was... Okay, I'm glad I remembered right. I was starting to doubt myself. Are they about to bond over their mutual hatred for Asta? 
Oh jeez. Uh <laughs> Yeah, you did. They don't care. You're dead. Jesus. Yep. You better go invisible and run away. Oh, you can make him invisible too. I don't know who to root for here. I don't really care about either side. <laughs> it's not the body of anyone we know that's being possessed by an elf here. And then these two characters are kind of like bad dudes. So I don't really care about them either. Okay. That's good. They sealed him. The question is, can he overpower it? It feels too easy. <clears throat> I hope this is where Yammy was looking. And Yammy's gonna, like, show up. Wow, so they just left him. Okay. Wow. That did not end the way I thought it was gonna. Ooh. Like, weird spinny zoom out. We keep seeing that scene. Just keep seeing luck. He just keeps smiling. We can see it again, too. Interesting. Okay, so it's similar to that. Do we... Th I wonder if... Finral's brother... Oh... I wonder if Finral's brother has now awakened into one, too. Well, missed. Wait, how did he miss? Or did he do it on purpose? Okay. <laughs> He's just so rusty he missed? Yeah, okay, you guys better make a move now. You fucking lucked out big time. Snap out of it, Noel. Her face is so, like, glowy right now. It's kind of weird. It's throwing me off. Distracting me in that scene. Just uses the same magic as they used, too, which is interesting. Alright, a wall of petals and water. Jeez, just blasted right in there. Yeah, he usually only did like... Yeah, definitely more powerful version of what he was doing before, it seems like. Alright, now we're back here. We keep jumping around! So much shit going on!
Wasn't a lie. Yep. Oh, shit. I imagine they're still gonna fight, but... Interesting. But who did it? Yep, okay. Damn. Shit. That's crazy. Doing the, like, copying, like, Lick's light magic, potentially, and Yami's dark magic. Countered all of the blades. <laughs> Create the path. <laughs> oh, I love Siskelian. All right, more of that. I'm sure it won't be as effective this time. Oh, okay. Copy and spatial magic. Ah, damn. Sense the key. Holy shit! Is that the blocking all those? What? <laughs> he is. That was crazy. You see him in, like, the background going ham. Oh, shit. Oh, it's real. God damn it. He was already powerful before. Can't imagine now. This is the opening. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, he Asa doesn't know. Yeah, he has no idea what's going on. <laughs> They're all comparing it to that. I'm glad they're able to pick up. Hopefully they can fill an Asta. I mean, they're only speculating right now and shit, but she, like, nailed it. Jesus. They can all shoot elements, too? Oh, my God. <laughs> She's just punching. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Ooh. 
Oh, nice. He set up traps this whole time. Good shit. What was that noise? Wuppa wuppa. Doesn't have any magic. <laughs> yes! Oh. Wait, is he already in the dark mode? He is! Oh shit! Oh, what? He made like a harpy thing. So that's not gonna work, huh? Damn. Oh, uh, more of them too. God damn it. Okay, well, is this where the seriously disadvantaged title comes from? Oh my god. Yeah. This is a little much for them. I thought Raya with his power was uh, might might have been much for them. Yeah. Ooh. What's this goalie gonna do? Wait, is she sending them away? Is she gonna fight? Is she staying? She's closing them off? Fuck. Oh my god, I'm excited but I'm scared for her. I don't want her to die. Please don't let her die. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> Twitch. Twitch again. Yes. Ah, damn it. I want more. Oh my god. Siskolian's gonna fight them all herself? Ugh. Like, I'm excited to see it. But I'm also terrified to see it, because she is an awesome character. She's, like, up there of, what like, some of my favorite characters in the show right now. <sighs> God damn it. I don't need no money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> Man, I am so hungry. <laughs> I had a really tiny dinner, and now it's been like... I don't know, like six hours since I've had that small dinner, and that's the only thing I've eaten all day today, too. Uh, God damn it. All right. That is it, guys, for episode 97. That was great. Um, we did spend a lot of time, like, jumping around, right? So, I mean, I genuinely don't have much to talk about for this discussion, so I don't know how long it's going to be, but we do have a few things, so... 
the episode spent a lot of time jumping around, kind of showing all the people and where they're at strength-wise, you know, um, in comparison to who they're fighting. Because we had Yami, who put up a fight and even worried the person possessing Charlotte, you know. I'll just, I'm probably just going to use their names, um, because it's going to be confusing to try to learn all the names of the ones inside them, and we don't know all of them either, so I think I'm just going to use their their names as to who we know them as, so I will still call Luck, even though I think it's Lyra now or something. Uh, oh no, Lyra was uh, Rill, right? That, see, that's where it's going to get confusing, so I'm just going to use the names by which we know them as, so... Um, but, but yeah, Yami fighting Charlotte, like, she said that my, my magic was more powerful and everything, but he was still able to cut through it, soften the blow, and get a nick off her arm guard, and, like, some debris fell on top of him, but I don't know that her magic, like, hit him at all, other than that, you know, like, he didn't seem to be damaged too much, if at all, you know, and that actually worried her a bit to the point where she's like, alright, I'm gonna get out of here. So it was nice to see, like, even though the episode title was, what, like, Severely Disadvantaged or something like that was the episode title, um, it's good to see that even with that title being the way it was, some of our characters still have a chance, you know? And, but most of the other ones didn't too much, like, the, the two guys that escaped from the prison managed to use the invisibility and get the chains off, but I don't know if that ceiling of his magic is enough to keep him sealed, you know? And, and it seemed like they just ran away, which leads me to believe that even though they sealed his magic, they weren't able to kill him there and then, or else they would have, you know? So... I have a feeling they were still considered disadvantaged, but that's kind of interesting that that character came back, the uh, the one from the very beginning of the show, and I'm glad I vaguely recognized him, even though I doubted myself the whole time until they showed it, you know? But that was the guy that attacked uh, Yuno, and then Asta came in and saved Yuno, you know, and pulled out... That, that was when he first summoned, you know, the... Uh, the Grimoire and everything, and got his sword, his anti-magic sword, and, and beat that guy. Um, so that was a really cool moment and in, in everything um, of seeing that guy again, just because of the, the blast from the past. And props to the show for, like, they did reference it, but very, very quickly, like... If this was, like, old Naruto or something, like, we would have had two or three minutes of flashback to see that guy again fighting Asta back then, you know, and then we'd cut back. But, uh, I mean, I was actually a little worried because when I was sitting there, like, is this the guy I'm thinking of or isn't it, you know? I was sitting there, like, I kind of wish they would do a flashback, but then they did a brief enough one that I was able to be like, oh, okay, it, it was, you know? Um... Because I was, you know, I've been watching these one a week. I don't even know if I've done too many of, like... Because every now and then with some of these longer-running shows that I'm not caught up on, I'll, I'll do two episodes. But I, don't, I think I've maybe only done that once or twice for Black Clover. Um, so most of this, like, 97 episodes, most of it has been week to week. So that's, like, you know, coming up on almost two years, I guess, which is crazy to me, um, of, of doing Black Clover, so, uh, yeah, it's, uh, definitely, definitely a long time ago that that happened, uh, but anyway, interesting seeing those characters again, it didn't really amount to much, and they kind of, like, spent a lot of time on that scene, uh, I don't know, I mean, I imagine it's gonna come back at some point for some reason, I guess we just know that they escape now, like, Maybe we won't even see them again for this whole arc, but maybe that'll just be something where they come back for Asta later and try to get revenge or something, and, and during this arc is when we saw them get released, so that way we'll know why they're around, you know? Um, but I hope it's something where it's like they're... Because Asta beat them at, like, their current power level, and unless they get stronger in the time that they vanish for... If they do come back at one point to fight Asta, I kind of hope it's something where Asta has gotten so much stronger that he just instantly defeats them. But we'll we'll see when that time comes. But <clears throat> but yeah, 
We had uh, Noelle freeze up because it's, you know, her friends that are attacking her and it is confusing her. Luckily, Luck missed that first shot, you know, and and then she was able to snap out of it before things got too bad, but... But yeah, things are things are definitely complicated, and now we have frickin' Sisgolian over here pushing Asta and uh, Zora away, so that way she can fight them alone, because, you know, just like Zora said, Asta isn't gonna be able to fight and kill these people, you know, he's, he's gonna be constantly fighting in, like, I need to, like, suppress these guys, but I can't kill them. And that's going to hinder him and potentially cause him to get hurt or the others around him to get hurt. And now she's throwing them away and taking them on herself. Now, she seems confident that she can kill them all, but not so much for me. I don't, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm a little worried. That's a lot of people for her to take on. So I'm hoping that maybe somehow Asta can get back there and help, potentially, or or something happens, because, like, it looked like Fugolian might be waking up, he twitched again, you know, but if that's the case, I don't want, I don't want to lose Sisgolian for Fug Fugolian to come back, you know, I want them both, you know, I don't want to have to sacrifice one to get the other one back, I, I really hope that she, she makes it out, but, you know, at the same time, I am excited to see her go all out, because seeing her go all out against uh, Raya before was pretty awesome. And, like, I don't even know if that was the limits of her ability. And I feel like she might push it even farther here, you know? So, oh man, I'm excited for that fight. But yeah, I think that's really all I have to talk about regarding this one. Because it was just kind of a lot of a lot of build-up and a lot of suspense and everything. Uh, not too many, like, reveals or anything, right? Like, um, but... Yeah, I'm trying to think. I thought there might have been, like, one thing that was kind of revealed this episode, but I don't think there was, you know? It was, like I said, mainly the build-up and seeing everyone and who they're fighting and how outmatched they are or how much of a fight they're putting up, you know? So, um, but, damn. Alright, guys, I can't wait to see more. That's gonna be it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed. Check out my Patreon if you want to see more episodes. You can see a couple ahead right away uh, through my early access tier on Patreon. You can check that out. Link is in the description. It's popping up on the screen. <laughs> or uh, I also have Patreon exclusives, which is content that is unique to my Patreon, at least until I finish the entire show. So there's a lot of, a lot of different shows on there. So check that out if you're interested. And that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you so much, and I will see you in my future reactions. Bye-bye.